Hi Scorpio, welcome back. This is your Sun Rising Venus for February 2023. Scorpio Love for February 2023. Scorpio Love, please give me three cards for February. All right. Saw Nine of Wands fall out first. We have also Queen of Wands. Okay, and then we have, yeah, so someone from your past could also be thinking about you, missing you. Six of Cups at the bottom. They also think you're very sexy, fine, and attractive is what I'm hearing here. Okay, one more card. Let's see. Will of Fortune. Beautiful, Scorpio. All right. Look at this. So now, um, Scorpio, you're going to have two main energies, okay? You're going to have the Hierophant and the Three of Swords is the main energy for love for February 2023. Look at this other card. Are you serious? All right, this is could be a out of nowhere shocking proposal as well. I know the three of swords is here, guys, but someone that's coming in that wants they want you, okay? So whoever might have had a third party or is heartbroken right now, take it as apply. This may or may not resonate with everyone. Could be a Libra, but don't have to be. But air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We also in the main energy have Taurus, okay, with the Hierophant. Yeah, Hierophant. And then um, the Tower was behind the Hierophant, guys. That is like a shocking out of nowhere proposal. Someone buying someone a ring. It, I'm getting all that right now. I'm getting so much marriage right now. So like someone's about to like shock someone proposing or um, engagement. Someone's about to propose to somebody. There's a marriage like out of nowhere getting ready to happen but this person is coming in they're still um heartbroken a little bit um they still could be healing from a broken heart um they don't know if you will marry them or not or give them another chance or something like that okay they the moon energy is here so they don't know what you're gonna do so that's what i'm saying some of them might shockingly propose to you um, to, or just either take things to the next level. I just see something being taken to the next level, especially with the Hierophant and Three of Swords coming out for the main energy. Uh, but that's what I'm saying. I didn't know the tower was behind the Hierophant. I felt two cards when I pulled the Hierophant. I was like, oh my goodness, it's the tower. But to me, it's a good tower. All this is showing me is that someone that's around you just has a, a broken heart if it's not you. That's what I'm saying. So take it as apply. This may not resonate with everybody, but... Um, whoever's coming in that wants to marry you or sees you as a, you know, as a commitment, okay? They want a commitment. It's going to shock you or it's going to be kind of fast, quick, or unexpected energy. With the lightning bolt, you're just going to feel like a sting from it. Like you just, you never saw it coming, okay? Um, Scorpio, you just, and this is Scorpio's energy here. So that's why I'm saying someone could be coming in, could be a uh, heavy Taurus energy or Scorpio. Yeah, they're coming in, but you know, it's going to really shock someone. It's like you're not even going to be expecting to get proposed to and it's just going to happen out the clear blue. So nine of wands, this person's not giving up. Whoever it is from your past, remember I just said someone misses you and stuff like that. You're heavy on someone's mind. It's someone from your past that can't stop thinking about you. Three, three, three on the clock. With the Nine of Wands, is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They, they're not giving up on you, okay? It's Nine of Wands next to the Queen of Wands. They're not giving up on you. You are showing up, Scorpio, as Fire Energy this month, okay? So you could be a Scorpio with heavy fire in your uh, birth chart or heavy fire placements. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I just see that this person is not giving up on you. They're going to persevere is what I'm hearing. They're not giving up. Something is also fate for you this month and destined for you in love. Um, it's good, okay? So you could be very lucky, very, very fortunate to find the right person. Or for some of you guys already, um, Scorpio, you already found the right person. That's what the Wheel of Fortune is here for. So that's what I'm saying, guys. You guys could already um, found the one. They could be fire, though. Definitely a lot of fire here in your um, energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, or yeah, Sagittarius, the will of fortune is Sagittarius. Someone could be fire that, um, is destined for you. Scorpio could be a fire sign. And we have Sagittarius with the uh, will of fortune. Then we have again, more fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the queen of wands, nine of wands. And that's what I'm saying. This person is coming in. They have had a broken heart. 
before or they're going through something right now where they are you know may not be at their best when they come in but they're ready to commit to you is what i'm seeing okay they're ready to propose to you all right so this is going to be shocking okay so like mouth to the floor shocking it's going to come out of nowhere you're not going to expect this person to do that that's what i keep picking up all right messages for scorpio love messages for scorpio love for february 2023 messages for scorpio love february 2023 yeah someone's handsome so take it as apply someone's also thinking you're beautiful okay messages for scorpios February 2023 for love. Okay. Wow, that's a lot. Um, at the bottom, it says, F me hard. We will split the deck in a minute. Yeah, they want full out commitment is what I'm getting. Uh, the, um, don't pay attention to that part. I mean, that's what they want to do to you sexually. But they also want to commit to you. So that's what I'm saying. They're not going to love you and then leave you. They're going to commit because you have the three of swords coming out with the hierophant. And it's also too, if it was a third party before this person is realizing and this with the tower could be too. I'm also getting this right now that this person is having a realization or some kind of shock or they're being woke up very fast or quickly that they want to marry you. Okay. So if they were having any kind of third parties, that's over with. They are very much focused on you. Wow, a lot of cards. And this one's jumping. They're also something in love you're not going to know this month. Because it jumped when I picked it up. All right, we have muscles. Yeah, somebody's very hot, guys. So, Scorpio, you guys are sexy. I already told you guys about that. You guys are always looking hot and always on point, okay? Um, I should have... I should have married you. Are you serious? I'm just reading this now. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. We have this out. Someone's getting proposed to. A ring out of nowhere is what I'm hearing. I should have married you. Beautiful. This is matching perfectly. All spells reversed. Okay, it says lost X. So someone could say they lost their ex or either someone's feeling lost. Okay, it says you made love to my mind, baby. Someone, is, they got the hots, but they're ready to marry. They're ready. Happy, happy, happy. It says wet me down. Yeah, this person's hot for you. They're so hot for you. Scorpio, what did you do to them? It says sexy hot body. It's beautiful though. They're so hot. <laughs> And I'm getting to that they look good and you look good. Like, you guys actually look really beautiful together. Like, um, I'm getting like a sexy hot couple. Wishes coming true. It says money changes. No, money challenges. So, you guys could be doing like a 30-day saving challenge. 60-day um, saving challenges involving money. Forest. We have penny pincher. Oh, penny pincher days are over. Spells did not reach you. Rejected immediately. Okay, someone's got bad money karma. We have um, Elon Musk here. So someone's money could be very big or just they, they got big pockets, okay? That you know, someone you know that has big money. Air air sex. Okay, so that's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And what I mean by this is just mental sex. Um, like you could just have an intelligent conversation with someone and you're just blown away. Handsome, yeah. Whoever this person is that's coming in to marry you, they're beautiful. Very handsome. Candlelight dinner. Scorpio, you're very romantic anyway. So that's what I'm saying. You guys got a lot of hot stuff going on. Nightmares. Saturn. Just devil energy here. Capricorn energy. So again, 
sexual attraction, um, just being really drawn to someone. Yeah, you. someone's getting married. A ring is given. Dream, dreaming, daydreaming. Where's that one going? Okay. It says bathroom sex. And I don't mean gross like that, but I mean like, you know, in the shower, that, something like that, guys. Um, well, that flew over there. What is this? Something about the color red. And we're seeing that already. I was going to say something about it. So now I'm going to say something about it. That's coming out. So something about red February for you, um, Scorpio. So you guys could be wearing red. Or when this person comes in, it's something red. Maybe a red truck or um, red paint. I'm hearing what? A red paint? Oh, and then um, just something red. Okay, it's significant. Red flowers. You, your mind is beautiful. Someone loves your mind. <laughs> I feel like they could talk to you forever. Make a wish here. We have Nine of Cups energy coming through. Yeah, this is somebody's wish fulfillment happening. Abundance, money, love, hope, marriage, house, car. Emotional stability. That's what I meant up there. Satisfied, life is good, wishes coming true. Okay, someone could be drinking too, just having, you know, fun time. Because Nine of Cups can mean drinks as well. Like someone, you know, overindulging or something. Happy, fun, make a wish, enjoyment. Okay, soccer. There's a card behind this. Cat call. So to me, that's a whistle or someone's like yelling at you in a flirty, hot way. Scorpio. Um, it says, hello, meow. Yeah, they're going to cat call you or something. <laughs> it says, trying to get your attention. Someone is trying to get your attention, guys. Coming out of poverty or financial lack is over. So both things here is what I mean. So coming out of poverty for you guys and also financial lack is over. It says, let me come over. Yeah, someone's got money. We already had Elon Musk energy come out. We have rich, rich, rich. This person you could be meeting or um, is about to meet is could be very well off and rich, okay? I own you, okay? Someone's being aggressive there at the end. All right, Scorpio love, February 2023. Something is yuck this month. Celibate a long time, Okay. Scorpio love, February 2023. Mystery sex. I should have married you. It's back out again, guys. And we already have the Hierophant. Someone's coming in to marry you now. Something they feel they should have did a long time ago. Scorpio love, February 2023. Cat talk. I was going to say cat call or something. So somebody's going to cat talk you or, or cat call you. Okay, be careful this month. Something could be a ripoff as well, okay? Um, Scorpio Love, February 2023. Hot tea. So that's scoop, that's gossip. So you could be the hot tea right now. Um, vanilla ice cream. What I mean is um, also to buy hot tea. It's just people, you know, talking about you or like um, making... Just, you're, you're their gossip, okay? So, like, yeah, something like that. Some kind of gossip's going on. February 2023 for Scorpio Love, 50,000. Yeah, again, your intelligence, mind F me. So, someone likes your mind, Scorpio. Okay. Um, a room message for Scorpio Love, February 2023. Okay, this is man in the self. Whoever this is, they got an epiphany. They got some type of shock. They want to come in and marry you, like, right away, okay? And it's upright. So he's definitely by himself. Um, he still could be in contemplation and off to himself. He could still be in hermit mode. But this is the energy that he's getting ready to come in and do, okay? So that's all I have for you, Scorpio. Until next time, take care.